friendly greetings. You've joined me, Torley Linden, and here I am today in a very festive and spirited tip of the week, right in time for these happy holidays. And you may wonder why am I a horse-looking thing with wings? Because some people like horse-looking things with wings as gifts for their festive seasonal traditions. So. Speaking of gifts, I'm going to show you today how to make a quick and easy gift box. And if you've never made a gift box before, it is quick and easy. So let me get started. And here, just follow along. You can refine it anytime. There's no risk. Right click and create. You see that? <laughs> right click and create. And then I just click on the ground like that, nice and easy. And I have a box, generic plywood box. I will hold Alt and zoom in. Okay, now the size here, I want to make it bigger. I'm more generous than that. One by one by one. And I want to click on it. And you see these arrows, like they kind of bulge. And I can click and drag it out of the simulated snow. Next, what I want to do is I want to align it. Tools, menu, and snap object X, Y to grid. There's also a shortcut to do that. But let me go ahead and snap it. Snap it by building by numbers. You'll notice here I'm using the grid. This makes it easier to coordinate things. And so when I go forth and let me just zoom in. Okay, so it looks all right. We have a box. Good start. Good start. So next what I want to do is hold the shift key and I want to click and drag right here. And you see it makes a copy. I know that totally didn't make sense at first, but the more you'll do it, the more sense it'll make. The next part doesn't make sense either quite. So this is a trick. I want to align it back here, but how do I do that? I can just go ahead and use edit menu and undo. Watch what it does. Oh, it moves it back to the original position. So it's completely overlapping the original cube. And I want to make this a bit larger on the side so it bulges out. But this part I want to make thinner so it's like cross gift wrapping. And it's kind of difficult to see there, which is why I'm going to show you my next step. This will make you happy as well. I'll click the original gift and let's do something festive. Color is green. Okay, so you can see that's green to differentiate. Then I click this. This is supposed to be part of the gift wrap color red. Okay, green and red. Not quite green and pink, but that's all right because we're being festive. Now shift and let me see, click and drag it. Now again, a copy. And remember what we did last time, edit menu and undo, or in this case, control Z, Z, that moves it back to the original position. Now, what you also want to do is rotate. So I'm holding down control. You can also See, it says control here, but hold down control and you see the spinny thing. Now just drag it along and align it so it is going towards the south, kind of like some birds going to go south for the winter. Except I'm not a bird, I'm a horse. So there we go, let go. And we have something of a gift wrap. Now, if you notice, if you go close, it kind of flickers. There is some unpleasant little flicker. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but there's a workaround to this. If I go to object, if I make this slightly taller, I believe it's this 1.11 instead, there will bouge and then I shouldn't have so much flicker. It's just the little outlines that are flickering right now, not the actual objects. Red is a very loud color. Next, we want to make the little, what do they call that, the ribbon? Sure. Shift, hold shift again and click the arrow and drag. Remember, shift drag to copy and it becomes very easy to build by numbers like this. Now this time I'll make this a little bit smaller. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, whoop, 0 0.5, okay. And I want this to be red as well. So we're gonna change the shape of this because square doesn't look right for this. Change from box to a torus, but it doesn't end there. We're gonna want to twist it, give it a more organic feel. So you see here where it says twist, begin and end, just click and hold up to 360 and we wanna twist it more, click and hold and drag it down. And let me see here. Let me show you, it looks quite twisted. And then we can move this back down. Very nice, very nice. And there's a lot more you can do to it, but that was just very quick and easy, like I promised you. Okay, so that's the first steps to our joyful new gift box. Next, let's get a little bit more fancy. Oh, hi Gambino. I'm making, ooh, making a new video tutorial. Always nice to greet folks. And let's see what we do next. We want to add some new textures because wood texture looks kind of funny. Thankfully for me, I've made a lot of textures. So if I click the texture square, 
Ah, uh, that's very nice of him. And then I will look for some of my textures. I'll go textures in personal because I made these twirly textures. I made a whole bunch. So these are some crazy ones. You can use whatever you have that you can apply. Whatever looks good. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Yeah, that's kind of got a marblish feel. Now I'll hold this. I just click this. You see, I just click that and I hold shift and I click others to select them as well. Now I have the yellow glow outline along all these. And I'll select another texture from that category. Uh, let's see here. Cloudy formations, that was the same one. Vertical clumped paint, that's kind of vertical from what I remember. And that might end up pretty nice, yeah. So although there's a lot more you can do with it, we have a basic gift box here. And then what we want to do next is, of course, before putting a gift, we want to link all this together so it's a single object. Instead of these four parts, we're going to make it one object. So as I right click and edit it, remember, hold shift. Shift is good for a lot of things. Click all these parts. Okay, tools menu and link. Or again, there's a shortcut. I love using shortcuts whenever possible. Link. And you see parts of the highlights will go blue. And the last object you click will still, I mean, the last prim in this case, primitive, will be yellow to indicate it is the parent or the root of this whole works. So now you notice if I click off and I click back on, I can move the whole thing as a single object, which is very, very nice. So I want to name this. And let's see, I'll say gift box for serendipity. Serendipity is one of my alt accounts that I use for testing and demoing cool video things. And in addition, what you want to do for this gift box is you see where it says when left clicked here, change this from touch grab to open. This has the benefit of when someone gets it and they res it and they drag it into the world, that means then they click on it with their left click button, their left mouse button, and then it opens instead of them having to right click and fumble around. It's just a lot easier. So content, see this content tab? This is where you put the gifts in, which is what I'll show you next. It's a cute little teddy bear. This is from Pacifi and Masio. Thank you very much because I'm going to use this as an example of how to give this as a gift. So I'm going to take this, right click and take it in my inventory. And you'll see it's right here. It's fully permissive. I can copy, I can modify. It doesn't say anything like no transfer. So I can go ahead, right click and edit and go back to the content tab. And this is where you put your gift or gifts. So I drag and I put this in there and you see the cursor kind of changes. Oh, that's nice. And let's see, okay, see we have it here, the teddy bear. And I will also, what I want to do now, I want to create a new note. You see there's a note card and then it opens up and I say, hi me or other me, because that's really me. Merry holiday, happy, whoop, not happy, joyous time from you. You can write whatever you want to if you're good at hallmarky type stuff. Way to go if you want to put a poem. Then you save it. Okay, then it just takes a little while. Give it a while to save. While to save, close that up and then right click and rename it. And to you, you're special. We are. So just name it whatever you want again. <laughs> and then you click and you drag it into here as well. I see you got this in the gift. And the key thing, remember, everything in here has to be transferable at least. Otherwise, you can't give it. If it says no transfer next to one of the names, then unfortunately, you can't give that away. So remember, we have that left click open and we're going to test it now. Let me just close that, close my inventory, focus back on the box. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> it's making a, okay, don't let me get distracted. But I will just go ahead now and you see, then I'll go ahead and left click on it. And then it says object contents. So you see when your recipient gets this, they can copy it to their inventory. They can copy and wear it if it's closed. This is not closed, but clothes are often very good gifts. So next step, right click, and I'm gonna take this. Dun, 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 dun. Gift box for serendipity. And then I'm gonna go to search and look up my alt. There's two ways you can do it from the old people tab. But right now we have this new search. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that change any category to people. You don't have to, but it can help make whoops, results more precise. Serendipity property and search. What? Okay, I guess they're not found. Hmm, I guess they're not indexed yet. Let me just go ahead and try the old search, no worries. 
I'm gonna check that out later. But you see, there I am. Clearly that is an alternate me. I'm give, giving a gift to myself. Okay, so what you do now, when you got someone's profile open, and it says drop inventory item here, but you can actually drop it anywhere as long as it highlights like this, watch. Click, drag, and you see the cursor will change. It's got that little plus sign. It means you're gonna send it to them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and release the mouse button. User not online, inventory has been saved. Good, they've got it. So let me come back as serendipity and let's get gifting. Wow, intermission. That's pretty nice what Gamvin was making there. Okay, back to the chase. Friendly greetings part two. I am now serendipity poppy. I've logged on to my other account. And right here, as you can see very clearly, ah, oh, I've got a gift box. So this is what your recipient will see when you give a gift to them. And so I will keep this and then I will check my inventory. And ooh, it's right here. So let me go ahead and oh my gosh, this land is no build. Let me find somewhere I can build something on. One moment, please. Great, a hop and a skip and a fly away. I found this stage. Remember, land must be no build. I mean, must be buildable for you to put a box down. So let me see here. I will res it. And I've got this gift. Oh, it's for me. Let's see what's in it. And you see again, when I click it, Oh, the object contents. So I'll copy that to inventory and it puts it in a folder with the same name as the object. Copy to inventory and right there, a gift box for serendipity. And you got the note, the note will automatically open. This is actually a preference setting you can change, I believe, but it's open for me. And of course I can just keep that and then I can res, res of course, drag and drop it into the world. And I've got my teddy bear. Aww. And here I am, both of I and both of me. And as you can see, I am so happy with what I gave myself. And that gift giving in Second Life in this time of generosity and making cool things is really fun, really rewarding. And you can see how quick and easy it is. And speaking of, let me just reinforce this help menu. The message of the day today is... From all of us at Linden Lab, have a safe and happy holidays. And in the mortal words of Bill and Ted, I love that movie, it's time travel. Be excellent to each other. This is Torley Linden wishing you very, very, very happy holidays and a big yay Bye-bye. And thanks for watching the Second Life Tip of the Week.